Hello everybody and welcome back to another RC Cars presentation and today we'll be taking a look at the brand new Stanley Days Sarge and Fillmore from the Radiator Springs 500 collection. Now if you're not aware this is one of the Cars tunes that uh, has been most recently released and I'm pretty sure it was about last summer around this time maybe a little bit later and uh, it was an off-road short you can go watch it on like Disney one of the Disney.com websites or something like that. I just recently watched it and uh, it is really nice. I'll probably be showing a few screenshots uh, throughout the video as there are a lot of interesting cars in this uh, short. But um, before we actually get started, uh, I know this happens every single time really. I just wanted to mention a few things to you guys, but I really appreciate everybody who joined the Google Plus community. I sent out an invitation to about everybody I know who is interested in cars or makes cars videos. Um, so hopefully a lot of people can join. I have about like 12 members as I'm recording this right now and I'm really excited about it. It's a lot of fun so far. A lot of people are posting and it's just really cool to see people post as you know I can't have a website like one of the forum pages but this is one thing I can do so it's really nice to have um, <clears throat> people kind of join up as a community and all. Um, let's have some discussions about cars. It's really nice. I am uh, very happy about this. It's one, one thing that I always kind of wanted and now it's actually coming true. And then one thing I wanted to tell you guys about that is that um, if anybody's interested in becoming a moderator for the Google Plus community page, uh, just let me know first. Uh, I'm just going to be kind of taking it slow right now to see who I want uh, to promote to a moderator. Just uh, probably I won't promote anybody like yet, but probably after a few weeks uh, I'm not really sure yet guys, but I definitely will promote someone as a moderator So that's just what I wanted to mention if you want to uh, Become one or have an interest in that just let me know um, I'll put your name down so I could potentially send you an application later on when I actually do that and um, also, I was suggested by Chan Anderson some really awesome ideas for other jobs that I could have, like a writer or reporter, um, just as some like news things that are going on, just to make some uh, the Google Plus community more interesting and stuff like that. So that's pretty much all. If you're interested in anything or have any ideas, please let me know. So let's get on to the review here. As you can see, we've got the other cars in the collection, excluding Stanley Day's uh, Ramon, and that's because he's not in this. Uh, he's not in the single packages, he was in the ex exclusive three packet to Walmart. But as you can see, it says collect all eight, and then there's a bio there. It's just nothing really special, just a synopsis of the uh, tune. And one thing that is different from all the other uh, Radiator Springs 500 diecasts is that it does not say uh, with off road tire tires because obviously. Uh, these two did not have off-road tires, they are just kind of regular cars with accessories on them, and they look absolutely amazing. I did purchase these off eBay, um, because I haven't been finding them in the stores, I haven't been finding anything in the stores, nothing new at all, which is really disappointing, so, uh, hopefully I'll be able to find something soon, and, uh, let's get into this, guys, this is really exciting, I really, uh, was really excited when I ordered these guys, and they came very quickly <clears throat> so let's get into them here this film feels quite heavy compared to Sarge <clears throat> so let's get them open here wow. tough packages nowadays and uh, also one thing I didn't mention is that uh, these are on the new 2015 uh, Radiator Springs 500 packages obviously because they are new for 2015 <clears throat> they appeared on eBay a while back and now are finally um, actually making all right i'm back here with the tie cast opened up i had to have a little cut there sorry about that guys but uh as you can see on the package i just wanted to mention this really quickly but uh, the american flag on sarge is actually on his left side and on the die cast it's on his right side unfortunately that would be his right side and then on the art it would be the left side, which is very unfortunate. I wish Mattel could have paid more attention to the detail there, but they just have a little problems um, paying attention to detail on some of these cars, which, you know, I'm not a big fan of, but at least this one, it's not that bad of a deal because they really did do great with the other detailing with the 
uh, accessories on both of these. But let's start off here with Stanley Days Sarge. And it, these are all trying to look like all these townies, at least Sarge, Mater, Fillmore, and, and I'm not sure if anybody else. I think that was it because I know the Disney Store released this version of Mater here, the Stanley Days Mater or Stanley Mater, I'm not sure what they exactly called it, who is dressed up to look like Stanley, and they all have this big thing in the back, the covering along with wood paneling going around it to make them look like Stanley, who here's the Mattel version of Stanley here, that was released in the Ray Deer Springs beginning pack, uh, very nice, uh, I think I do have a review of this, but it's been a while, uh, so if you want to see a review of that, suggestion video. But uh, yeah, <clears throat> if you want to also see a video on the Stanley Days Mater, let me know because it's a very nice Mater. Uh, just a few things that I don't really like about, so that could be in a video. But uh, I really like the detailing on this one. You got the wood paneling with ropes going around the sides, and he's got these uh, overhead lights are just kind of on the side here. And um, I feel like they should be a little bit bigger, but they're not. Just that seems the way it is in the uh, on the packaging at least. And he's got his iconic 41 WW2 uh, license plate, which is probably the year 41 and then World War II. And uh, he's got his spare tire, and he did get new tires. Uh, the rims are new, and he also doesn't have any of the treads anymore. He's just smooth tires, as you can see the old version of Sarge has treads in this newer version is nice and smooth on this side which is nice that they changed up the sides here so they're not just the same but he has a shovel which looks very cool i'm not sure how a car would exactly use a shovel but you know i guess you can imagine or you could like stick it on the tire or something i don't know and the american flag here is kind of rubbery it bends a little bit i don't really recommend like pulling it that far but i really like the detailing with this and how it looks like it's folding or flapping through the wind and it's very small but it really looks nice how it makes it look like it's flapping through the wind so that's very cool they did give him a newer expression just to change it up a little bit which i really do like um, that's pretty much it for Sarge. I really do like Sarge, but I do have to say Filmer might be my favorite. Um, it might just be because I'm a little disappointed in Mattel's air with uh, the American flag on Sarge there. But here is Stanley Day's Sarge, who is also dressed up to look like Stanley with the covering in the back. The more of a wagon, whoa, the more of the wagon wheel type look to him uh, with the wood paneling going on the sides. And I really love the jugs that made her... Not, Fillmore has on these sides here that have all these X's on them. They're just really nice. I mean, he has a really nice weight to him. Uh, of course, this all the accessories are plastic, but he does have a nice weight to him. And uh, as you can see, it seems like Fillmore has been stripped of every single decal, at least on the back here, <clears throat> because you can kind of see in there. But that's probably just to keep it cheaper so they don't have to paint decals on stuff you'll never see. But, um, it may be in the uh, short as well that he didn't have any decals on the back there. So it's kind of cool to see a more of a blank Fillmore before he got all the stickers and decals. And he also did get a newer expression, which looks really cool. And a nice big smile on Fillmore's face. And uh, as you can see, the license plate in the front. Five, one, two, three, seven. And uh, it's pretty much all for Fillmore. It does say Fillmore's brew on the side here. Um, this probably has something to do with the jugs, but I'm not necessarily sure. And uh, he does have this cap on, which is not really a cap. It's just kind of like um, the part of Stanley that's right here. Uh, and it's metal. It's very nice. It's nice and metal. This is probably what makes it a lot heavier than the normal version as it sticks out quite a bit further on the new Fillmore, the Stanley Days, than the uh, regular Fillmore. So that's pretty much it for Stanley Days, Fillmore, and Sarge. These are really nice die casts, and I definitely probably uh, will pick an extra of these up if I see them in the stores, but uh, I doubt I'll see more of these in the stores. I mean, I just finally found a second Lost in the Desert Van and Mini 2 pack, and uh, so hopefully I can find some of new stuff though, like the Sajan Korea and then Fenrick's case, and Fenrick's in case, and the new case of two packs so that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy and thanks again for joining my google plus community and let me know if you want to become a moderator or have some sort of position in the uh, whole um system so thanks again for watching i'll see you guys next time bye now